She had three hours of doctor's appointments yesterday. Hi, Lise. We're done with the appointment. Hi, so we just stopped for a mango checkpoint. Wi-Fi here at this resort is down by the poolside outside and so Peter went down there this morning I don't know I was like half asleep he's like I'm gonna go downstairs do you want me to leave the key with you and you get up and lock the door or do you want me just to lock you in and I was like just lock me in because I just I did not want to get out of bed um but now I want to go get Wi-Fi by the pool but I'm stuck in my room so just uh organizing going through my bag, go throw away some trash, some leftover receipts, some miscellaneous flyers, some airline tickets, so just cleaning stuff out, and uh, hopefully people will be back soon. We have to leave in an hour for our five hour ride to El Nido, and that is the place to do island hopping. So today we're gonna figure out which tour that we want to do, because there are several different options. The main reason that I want to get Wi-Fi is that my mom, who I told you a couple days ago, um, found out that she had breast cancer. She had three hours of doctor's appointments yesterday and I just wanted to hear the results. Yeah, you know, traveling, you definitely miss out on some things and, and I knew that for sure. Um, one thing I hoped that I would not have to miss is being there for, for my family um, when sickness or illness happens. And when, when my mom is like very reassuring that this is like the most common form of cancer, the doctor said that if you are going to get cancer, this is the one that you want to get. But that's actually not what she said. She said, so the doctor said that if, if you want cancer, you want this one. I was like, mom, I do not think that anyone wants cancer. And she's like, no, 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 I mean, I meant if you're going to get it. So anyways, um, she's pretty confident that everything's gonna be fine, but it's just, just that word. I mean, it's it's hard. Anyways, so that's really why I wanna get Wi-Fi to hear how my mom's appointment went. I'm just stuck in the room. <laughs> I got some Wi-Fi right by the window, and so I'm listening to my mom's message. We're done with the appointment. The appointment went really, really well. They really take care of you. Just so caring. Like it, it was really, really neat to meet with anybody. It wasn't overwhelming at all. The cancer is centralized, centralized. Like it's, it is, as far as they know, that one tumor. Um, they are going to take that out by lumpectomy. Right now, it's only going to have to be radiation for four weeks. So. I said I want to get it done right away, so next Thursday is when I'll have the surgery. Peter came back for me. Yay! Time to, to go now. And we're off. Oh, the puppy's not here. Oh, there you are. Bye. Bye, puppy. They gave me coffee and a to-go cup, so I am happy, happy. So we just stopped for a mango checkpoint. Just had to make sure that there are no mangoes being brought from that part of the island to this part of the island. Transporting some pigs. All right, so we're a little over halfway through and it is lunchtime, so we have stopped at this restaurant for lunch. Uh, we have our own food though. All right, so we decided just to eat in the car because no one else is in here right now. They're all eating lunch. He left the car running, uh, which is crazy because AC's going. So we're They're like- probably here for at least 30 minutes for lunch. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So I'm like, well, wait, we're like sweating outside. Forget that. 
I'm going back to AC. Yeah, it's fun. We've been meeting some really awesome people on the trip. A couple from Uruguay and a couple from Australia. Um, one from Australia, they are on a nine month Asia tour and met a really cool couple from Uruguay. Um, and they have been to Japan and also here um, for a couple of weeks. And it's cool because I was just looking up Uruguay and I wasn't sure if we're gonna go to Uruguay or go to Argentina straight from Hawaii. But now we have people that, to stay with in Uruguay and it was, they live right where I was looking up that we would want to visit um, at the beach. So it's pretty perfect. But now we have to go um, visit them. Um, and yeah, it'll be really cool. So we only went for an hour and we have only an hour left, but we made another stop. And someone came in and like signed a piece of paper. I think just to say that we stopped here. And I'm not sure then if they get reimbursed by the government or for what. So it's just funny. But like no one has to go or anything because we just, it was like an hour ago. We almost want to get there. Let's see, it's two o'clock now and you thought that we would be there by two. So here's the funny thing. You know, they drop us off at this El Nino transportation terminal, and now we have to pay for a tricycle. So the thing is, we paid to get to El Nino, and they get us most of the way there, and then they kind of just stop. And, and we asked to get dropped right off the main road, but he won't do it. He doesn't want to go any further than the bus terminal. He's trying to pass off to the guys. It's only a 15 minute 1K walk. I think we're just going to walk it. Oh, it's only 1K, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, yeah. So here's the thing it's like, it's only 1K. So it probably wouldn't be all that much for a bicycle, but Peter's all about the principle here. So he's like, we are walking. Hey, this way we can see more town, I guess. At least Peter's carrying the water and food. Your face, Peter. Innovation. Hello. Hello. Lisa, happy? This is your breakfast area for tomorrow. Okay. Do you have a food allergy? Nope. Nice. Oh, awesome. And then, are we able to use the kitchen? Yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Nice. Great. Cool. Oh, great. Oh, great. That's awesome. Thank you. This is great. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right. So we made it in the room. It's kind of an odd check-in, but hey, this is actually really nice. Like, yeah, super like tiny room, but a giant shared space. Um, Big have living room table. Kitchen you can, access. Kitchen you have a kit, full kitchen you can access. And I kind of saw some different tour spots so we know what the tours sh should range. And we're going to go and find out which tour to get right now. And I was just like, just just lock me in. And he's like, when do you want me to be back? And I was like, I, I don't care. Because I just wasn't ready to get out of bed yet. And you did say when we're in the big city, there are a few spots to watch out for where if you are there and you have a camera out or you have a smartphone out that looks nice, you will get robbed, is what he said. But he said, if you know, I'll tell you where not to go, and as long as you stay out of those areas, you'll be fine, you won't have any problems. So, to get connected with a local. That's, that's what we're learning about South America. I'm getting a little bit nervous for South America, but man. In other words, Lisa may not be vlogging as much in the big cities. Yeah, it's probably true, actually. We'll that's just, what I'm saying, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, because you're not being smart. This is not like this. What we've been doing, we can't do. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're saying, at least not in some areas. Yeah. 